So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have a Groundhog Day address. I just ask, I ask your indulgence for just a moment here. It was uh, Colleen uh, from here, Catherine Rennies, who called me up last week, told me I want a happy hour for me and a few friends. Uh, she said I could pick any day of the week, and uh, Groundhog Day just kind of jumped out. Yes, I'm obviously a fan of the brilliant 1993 film starring Bill Murray. Yes, my kids and I have made the pilgrimage to Punxsutawney. No! Yes! No. Yes! We have! We have been there to see Punxsutawney Phil. If he doesn't see a show, he's not going to But, as I thought about this a little bit more, I thought this is incredibly appropriate to have this gathering tonight. You see, Groundhog Day essentially marks the halfway point for winter. It's, it's for the winter season. And I don't know about you guys, but doesn't it feel like this winter season has been a little bit of slap happy? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it just seems like every week, and now there's another storm on the way. More snow. There you go. Um, and I don't know about you, but, but at times, lately, doesn't it kind of feel like life is that way? Like we're just getting slapped again and again and again. Unemployment figures and layoffs and it is kind of a little bit frustrating. But, but, here we are, halfway through the winter season. And we can expect some more storms, snow, sleet, freezing rain, hail, ice, frogs, whatever. Frogs? Yeah, that's <laughs> enough. But, we're halfway through it. Now, I'm not about to make any predictions about us being halfway through this economic storm. I mean, quite frankly, I don't think I have the business sense to run a, uh, a lemonade stand. But, but something tells me that there's, there's something about this community, something about you. You who come out to an event like this. Yeah, there's food and drink, but let's face it, you're not here for the reasonably priced drinks and the free food. You're Why here for the here? You're here. I'm here for the drinks. You're here for this community. Oh right? yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great quote from Chuck Swindoll. He said, the longer I live, the more I realize the importance of attitude on life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It's more important than the past than education, than money, than circumstances, than failure, than success, than what other people think or say or do. It's more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, a home. The remarkable thing is we have a choice every day regarding the attitudes we will embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. But the only thing we can do is play on the one string we have, and that is our attitude. I'm convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. And so it is with you. We are in charge of our attitudes. <clears throat> Friends, over the past few years, I've had the privilege of seeing many of the people in this room help each other out in deep and meaningful ways. From helping with special projects to introductions that lead to a job offer to supporting and promoting each other's causes. I am incredibly proud to be a part of this community and I encourage all of you to take a piece of what we have here and share it tomorrow and throughout the week and throughout the month at your workplace, in your neighborhoods, at PTA, at civic associations, at your houses of worship and yes definitely share this online. <laughs> Again, I thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank you for being truly great people. I am honored to have you here. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah.